Hello and welcome to the Monday, January 16th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Sometimes it's amazing how some pretty obvious and not necessarily new scams are still apparently working. I came across this weekend some YouTube videos that claimed to show some recent updates about SpaceX and their Starship. But the real purpose of this video, which uh, is just some random recording of Elon Musk that they are replaying here, is to display a fake tweet from Elon Musk that uh, directs you into scanning a QR code. That QR code gets you to probably one of the oldest and most obvious uh, crypto coin scams where it promises that if you are sending a certain amount of uh, crypto coins to a particular address, you'll be rewarded in twice whatever you send. Overall, uh, this really doesn't make any sense. So no idea why anybody would be falling for it. But uh, at least the Bitcoin address, and they're using a couple different crypto coins here, but the Bitcoin one is the easiest to check, uh, received already about 1.35 Bitcoins, uh, which comes down to about $28,000 in 12 transactions. So people are sending some reasonably substantial amounts of Bitcoin uh, to this address. What's actually kind of more interesting about this entire scam is the YouTube channel that uh, this scam is originating from. The YouTube channel is called SpaceX Mission. At the time when I checked it, it looked like it only really hosted these two scam videos, which looked pretty much identical. But the YouTube channel does have 2 million subscribers. It has 430 million views and was started back in 2008. So nothing that was just quick put up in order to distribute this scam. Of course, many of these subscribers and views may be fake, uh, not really sure about that. But given that the channel is pretty old, it's possible that uh, this channel existed a long time ago, was legitimate, and uh, then was somehow taken over by uh, this scam. If anybody got any insight on that channel, uh, let me know. Again, it's SpaceX Mission. That's the name of the YouTube channel. And apparently Microsoft is experimenting with some interesting uh, voice impersonation technology uh, based around uh, natural language models. That's, of course, a hot topic uh, these days. And according to a research paper released by researchers... And researchers at Microsoft have apparently been able uh, to impersonate a natural spoken language with only a three second recording of the victim's voice. This a new application of natural codec language models, uh, which is sort of a, a hot topic, of course, uh, these days in machine learning could have some significant implications if it uh, comes uh, to a voice authentication. I'm not talking about sort of the simple voice print authentication that people often sort of you know, spoof with recordings in movies and such, but the more complex systems where, for example, you're calling a colleague in order to get them to reset a password for you or such. According to this paper, it will be possible uh, to impersonate a speaker with only a three-second sample. I guess uh, my voice is probably lost at this point with all the samples I left with these podcasts. Uh, maybe I can find a bot uh, to uh, speak uh, these podcasts for me. And we all know that link files are often used uh, to attack Windows system, but apparently a Microsoft Defender update uh, late last week went a little bit uh, too far here and uh, deleted a link file that's used to implement the start menu in Windows and the taskbar. So if you woke up and uh, you uh, do no longer have a start menu, you no longer have a taskbar, well, uh, there are some solutions for you now, first of all, Microsoft did revert this particular uh, rule for Defender, so it should no longer happen right now. And there are some scripts available that will help you restore the taskbar and start menu. I'll link to an article in Microsoft's Windows Health page that is, at this point at least, the most extensive discussion of this that comes officially from Microsoft. 
Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.